And an Anderson Little League team will have their first baseball game since a drive-by shooting erupted outside of that park. It was a situation that sent people running for cover, and as you can imagine, a lot of parents are probably still on edge. Kids, too. Fox Carolina's Lindsay Gibbs is live talking about the plans for tonight. Hey, good morning, Margaret Ann. And we know no other baseball team has actually played on this field since that terrifying evening on Monday night. Now, we do know at least one parent says they plan on not returning to this field as those games are set to begin again this evening. Now, we do know Anderson Police Department, they say they're going to have officers here for added safety as well. But we do want to show you what families left this scene, what it looked like as law enforcement lined the streets at their uh, children's t-ball game. And this, again, was on Monday night. Parents tell us how traumatized and shocked they were having to jump the fence to shield their children from bullets they couldn't see. According to the police department, we received, there are uh, a report that we received, there are three victims in total. Two drove themselves to Anmet Hospital. That's about a mile away. A family member says that both the man and the woman in the hospital are in stable condition at this time. A police say the shooting came from two separate cars on Salem and East Market Street. All this happening while families were pulling into that Little League game. Uh, as of the this morning, there have been no arrests made in this case. Anderson Police Department says if you know anything, you are encouraged to call Crime Stoppers. My Myra.